Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to part 6 of What If Naruto Was The Reincarnation Of The Otsutsuki God. Last time we left off, Madra uh, had the tentacles already there. And also Naruto killed the entire Akatsuki, got the six, got to the sixth level of power of the evil chakra, and yeah, stole Nagato's running gun. And now, Obito explained that due to him siphoning off Naruto's chakra, unknown to Obito also never goes chakra. He was able to supply the ten toes, even making it ten times stronger than it would be. As forgetting Nebuko is the Technically, God of all chakra. Fuck Kaguya. Oh, yeah, I'm past the 30 second mark. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get straight into it. Naruto, I mean, Madara absorbed the Tento straight away, becoming the Tento Jinjuriki. And he said, Ah, oh, this is stronger than I would expect it to be. One second, guys, ASMR. <laughs> Ain't red fat on anymore. We're back to Pepsi Max. Gotta change it up every once in a while. Oh, oh, Pepsi Max out of a can is just too nice. Oh, anyway, Madara looked at his hand and said, Ah, oh, this is a lot stronger than I expected it to be. And Naruto just laughs and said, Yes, is that so? He says in his own mind, You're only that strong because you stole my power, you bastard. Madara rushes right towards Naruto, but before he can land, his body freezes up. He, for some reason, when he faces Naruto, he just feels pure fear. His heart starts racing, and his sh hands start shaking, trembling. He says to himself, so, what is this feeling? Is this fear? He looks at Naruto, and the fear gets even stronger. He fills his chest, and he starts screaming. It feels like it's about to explode. He drops to his knees, and Naruto takes this as a chance. He isn't, he isn't going to risk it for the biscuit, is he? He rushes straight at Madara and beheads him. And Madara's head lays down the ground, still screaming. All of a sudden, his skin starts bubbling up and it's expanding and exploding. And finally, it takes form of a woman with white skin. Naruto recognizes it as Kaguya. She seems even more powerful than before. Kaguya was ready to fight straight away as this was part of her plan. And yet again, when she sees Naruto, she starts to tremble. How? Oh, how? My lord. Kaguya can see through Naruto and see Nebuko, the god of the Utsutsuki. And Naruto is not taking any risk. He puts his hand up and suppresses her chakra. She falls straight down to the ground. And as such, a Obito finally appears, ready to kill Naruto. He appears to the side of him and swings. Naruto headbutts his blade, shattering it, and then grabs a beat by the throat. Finally, what he's been searching for all this time. The seventh de demonic chakra power, or whatever you want to call it. Naruto absorbs it. And as he absorbs it, he also absorbs Obito's life, for life force. For shadowing, for something in the future. And Kakashi seeing that as Obito demanded Naruto to stop. And Naruto let go, while Obito's on the brink of death. Healing him slightly. Naruto sensed the power. This was some sort of berserker mode, assault mode. When activated, his power would continuously grow, but he'd he'd lose control over his emotions slowly. Though so he'd just become angrier and angrier. But as he does become angrier, the power boost grows quicker. Ugh. Naruto releases Kage under from her chakra cell. And she starts screaming. She turns into a blue light and shoots up towards the sky. Naruto's confused. This didn't happen in before in, before he got reincarnated. And he looks up. All of a sudden, he felt five insane presences. No, six actually. Flying down towards him. And a man with pale skin, black eyes. And other of Tsutsuki clan members. Momoshiki, the guy with the rod. The big fat guy that came with Momoshiki. Kaguya. 
Jigen and another Otsuki member. They all come down towards him. And Naruto goes, What? I- impossible. And they all land right in front of him. And Jigen, they all begin to bow. And they go, My lord, we've been waiting for your return. After your presence, your soul mysteriously disappeared. Nebuko t- says to Naruto why he slows down time. Those are my direct descendants. What? That Jigen man sitting in front of you. He was also thirsty for my power to be the next in line. As if it weren't for me, because as I believed my, my entire clan didn't want me to still be the leader of the god. They wanted someone else to become it. But they also expected me to help lay down my life, give them the power for it. Without a fight, don't make me laugh. Here in this now, his eyes light up and he comes back to reality. And he says to Jigen, You. You sought the power of your leader so desperately, and now you want to bow down as if you have no ill intent. Here in this Jigen's court of J- Jigen, what's his name? Jigen! Is it Jigen or Jigen? Or Jigen? Jigen. 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 Ugh. I looked up, it's apparently Jigen. But after now to say this, Jigen says, So, you, you're with the Lord? Good, this makes it easier. It would be nearly impossible to beat our Lord. And as he says this, Momoshiki and the fat guy merge to form their final form and they rush at Naruto. Do you expect Naruto to be weak? He's a 16 year old boy, of course. <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. But as Momoshiki rushes at Naruto, the unexpected for Jigen happens. Naruto moves out of the way quite easily and decks Momoshiki in his final form, sending him flying backward. Momoshiki creates a crater and he stands up pissed. His running, his running gun open in his hand, he launches himself at Naruto. Naruto finally decides to show off. His running gun on his hand open up as well. And his eyes flash into his Jogan form. Full. This catches them all off guard, they recognise that as the Eye of the Lord, so he does have some of his power. Naruto ducks beneath him again and punches him in his jaw, but Momoshiki uses his hair and wraps around him. Naruto laughs and spins his fist around, spinning Momoshiki around, the hair, around by the hair, and slams him down. He looks at him and says, PAIN! Using his devil power, Momoshiki starts screaming, throwing up blood. Naruto's overriding his body with pain. But Momoshiki's had intense great training, he's ready for this. He creates one of the massive, massive uh, purple orbs. Tell, sort of like the Tower Beast one, but stronger. One sec. Oh. But Naruto just looks at it and laughs. The running gun in his hands turn into Drogons. And he lifts his hand up and he absorbs the Jutsu. And he begins belly laughing and I mean belly laughing <clears throat> he says you're so confident about this power why don't you take it Naruto lifts up his other hand and shoots out a beam using the power just to absorb multiplying it by times a hundred when Mushiki gets hit directly by this and half his body is blown away it begins to regenerate we're using this chakra but Naruto says enough he, he seals off Momoshiki's sh- uh, chakra completely using the sixth ability And fa- he falls down unconscious, not dead, just unconscious. Naruto releases this and gives his chakra back. And Momoshiki heals, but he's still unconscious now. Due to losing his chakra, he's not going to have the ability to stay awake with half his body gone away. Then the other two, the one with a fish rod, he chucks his fish rod at Naruto. And Naruto just licks him. He rips out some purplish chakra and absorbs it. At that time, his skin turns purple. His veins burst out of his body. Blood is spraying from every direction. And on Tsutsuki, he wants to use the power of a demon. Funny, you two are polar opposites. I'm able to do it because I'm not full of Tsutsuki and I'm technically your god. <laughs> Give it back. He absorbs the dark energy back. This guy with the fish runs barely alive at this point. And Naruto appears in front of him and gouges his out, out his eyes. He looks up and says, who's next? The mysterious person, I mean Kaguya, flies towards him. And Naruto says, you're the one I'm interested in. The Renny Chargon appears on her head. G- Jigen seeing this says, impressive. 
with someone of a lower branch family who is meant to give their life. She has an interest in power. Kaguya shifts dimensions. This definitely catches Jigen off guard, and as Kaguya appears behind Naruto ready to impel her, him, Jigen grabs her hand, and he absorbs her completely. Jigen gets his horn in his head now. He no longer needs a vessel like he previously fought. And he gets that horn, he doesn't have his white skin yet, and his karma spreads around his body. And they return back to the regular dimension. Jigen now has a Renny Shangran on his head as well. And Naruto senses this is hundreds of times stronger than anything he's faced. And he looks up ready. Him and Jigen rush towards each other. And of course Jigen thought it was going to be easy. Just for Naruto's blow to completely blow him away. And I bid you unsilent you bastard. He launches backwards. ready, Getting ready to throw another punch. But before he realises it Naruto's in front of him. And screams. Rasengan Utsuki skull. It's a white orb and he slams it. This is meant to completely disintegrate stuff, remember? And it knows Jigen in the stomach, erasing part of his stomach, sending him flying backwards. Jigen gets up, coughing up blood, holding his stomach, which quickly heals. And he says, you bastard. Jigen activates his uh, kick again, Kai. Well, here, that orange one. And he says, you want to play games? Let's play. He appears in front of Naruto and sh shrinks down. He thought Naruto wouldn't be able to keep up with him, but with the Jogan, it's quite easy for him. And Naruto just spin kicks uh, G and he gets him flying backwards. Not before a s one of them black rods impel Naruto's stomach. Naruto coughs up blood for a second and looks down. No pain, he rips it outwards and chucks it to the side. He enters KCM2 with Kurama. And his power starts amping upwards. That's when all the other Tsuki members wake up and rush towards Naruto. Naruto laughs. Momoshiki has to deal with Naruto. Momoshiki has to deal with Sasuke, and the other two get. Uh, Momoshiki has to deal with Sasuke and Itachi, and the other three get to deal with Hinata, Sakura, and wait, I've messed up. And Kakashi, that's it. They get. <laughs> Jigen seeing this that these mortals are able to push back at Tsuki is actually impressed. And he puts out the offer. Just give up your power and we'll let you live. You can even join us. You'll still be not Tsuki, so you'll still be useful. Naruto gets pissed. And he starts challenging Nebuko's energy. Even though he doesn't want to, Jigen's legs start shaking. The presence of his lords finally appeared again. Naruto's stare is just overpowering Jigen and Jigen starts backing up no matter how much he wants to fly forward his entire body his instincts are telling him to run you will not win but before he can get the chance to run Naruto when we void Chukatana out appears behind Jigen somehow he plays the flying Raja mark on him when he used Rasengan and he swipes the back of Jigen's back kind of open Jigo, uh, Jigen screams in agony as his body starts decaying he manages to fire off and he lays on the back, he's like, that's the technique of the god, how can they mere mortal? I see now, you're not his vessel, you're working together. Looks like I've been underestimating you too much. He looks to his right and left and sees all his allies that he brought with him are absolutely being dominated, nearly killed. And he sees that these people are, all have access to the power of that their total enemy, the power of Jashin. And he says, interesting, you side yourself with our god and as well as our enemy. And he screams with power. All the Otsuka members that he brought with him turn into energy and fly into him. He enters his final form that we see in the Boruto anime, that white one, the complete vessel. Now the scene is just caught off guard. And Nebuko says to him, that, that power is nothing I've seen before. He's been training. Of course he's not strong enough to me, but right now he's still a threat to you, Naruto. Sorry guys, one sec. <sighs> he appears in front of Naruto and actually shrinks Naruto down and slams him into the ground. Naruto gets pissed and uses all mighty push to send Jigen flying off him and returns to his normal size. Naruto, who can actually fly, zooms up to the sky and they start boxing in the sky. It's become Dragon Ball. And Naruto isn't having it, he's not going to be bitched about about this one. 
he finally uses it for the first time, the seventh power. He gets a mark on his head. Yes, I'm using seven deadly sins, so what? He gets a mark on his head and he enters his assault form. His, his Nevercoat's power and this evil power finally fully merge. And Naruto explodes with this new aura. He appears in front of Jigen, a backhand and sending him flying backwards. And rushes towards him. They start boxing even more. Naruto using more and more abilities. Oh. That. Like, and he flies backwards. He pulls up his arms and creates shadow clones. They all form Rasen Shadowclones of all kinds, sending it flying towards Jigen. Jigen, of course, absorbs and it dishes it back out. And Naruto absorbs that again. Jigen says, impossible. No one should be able to absorb our technique after we fire it back. Unless, oh, the Lord. Of course, they're talking about Nebuko. And Naruto fires this one back. It, bur it blows off Jigen's arm, but it quickly regenerates. But not in time. Naruto has appeared in front of him with a black Chidori, sending it through, straight through Jigen's heart. Jigen laughs. His previously yellow kick again had turns blue, and he explodes with power. The entire time Jigen had been siphoning off Naruto's energy bit by bit, and as soon as he tapped into a bit of Nebuko's energy, he was able to ascend. He believes that he's finally the Odzutsu god, but in reality, he's a demigod. But still, he's harnessing a lot better power than Naruto could handle. All of a sudden, Naruto gets slapped about for the first time in years. He's being easily overpowered. He just gets chucked into that sky, booted back down, pinned down, punched up. But he ain't gonna have it. The thing with his assault mode, the, the amount of strength he gains is in, it's constant, yes. But it can be multiplied the amount with his emotions. Naruto has never been this pissed off. And that dark energy and his... And his link with Nebuko goes from about 50% to 70%. And he uses his semi-link and he explodes power away from him. Before he just used his stare, but now he's trying to fight back. Where Jigen thought he was unbeatable, he's basically having he's not having a break and he's getting pissed. How? How can you be immortal? I have the power of a god and you're fighting against me. Now to laugh and says, Do you really think you're the first god I've ever fought? And in part of his emotion, the demon power and yet again Nebuko's power, he's overpowering Jigen yet again. No matter what trick he pulls, Naruto can either just, his healing effect then negates it, or, he, or at last he can just refuse it. And finally Naruto seals off Jigen's entire chakra supply. This should be impossible, but this must mean that Naruto is at least three times stronger than Jigen. Jigen falls to the ground, nearly dying. His life supply is running out. That's when he screams, Otsutsuki clan, your new god commands you. All of a sudden, a blue sh not a, bl a blue branch flies down from the sky, impaling Jigen. And he floats up. Jigen's hair gets longer. His karma mark spreads throughout his body. And his eyes change. They change one of them into a Jogan. The entire Otsutsuki clan, unanimously, or whatever, the entire one voted for Jigen to be the new god. And as such, they all, all the lower branches, supplied them with his power. Supplied them with their power. Jigen is now at least three quarters of the way to becoming a full god. Nowhere near Nebuko. Nebuko is on a different tier. Nebuko is a god of gods, but no one really understands this. But. Naruto isn't just going to fan this, is he? But he has no choice. Nebuko starts spatting around him about, slapping it up, down, left, right. Impaling him in every single part of his body, pinning him down to the ground. And in the end, he stabs his hand through Naruto's stomach and his heart. Naruto being Nebuko's reincarnation, he can somewhat survive this, but not for long. And he's barely holding his breath. That's when he sees it. He sees... Sasuke get impelled through his heart as well, as well with Hinata by Jigen. He explodes with pure, pure rage, his assault form, and finally, him and Nebuko got a 100% link. Naruto rises from the ground. You see the thumbnail? That's what he looks like, his skin is looking like that. Now fully able to use Nebuko's full power. Even though they had a 60% link, Naruto could barely tap into 10% of it. He's now tapping into 100%. Jigen's legs are trembling. No, the 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 Lord's back. 
You're using this pot. Impo- what, what, what are you? And Naratodos looks at Jigen and says, Blow away. Jigen's G- arm and legs blow off, and Naruto slowly marches towards him. Maybe we want to find out what happens. Come back next time, guys, for the final part. Um, peace out, guys. Bye. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment down below, share with your friends and family, join the Discord. And other than that, guys, we're nearly at 19.4k. Let's get there quick. Other than that, guys, enjoy it. Peace out. Bye.